Hi guys, welcome back. Well, today we are talking about BB creams and CC creams, and I just wanted to let you know what my favorites were. Um, I've probably talked about every single one of these at one point or another in some of my videos, but I thought this time of year was a good um, time to bring these up because a lot of us don't want like a heavy foundation in the summertime. And then with a BB cream or CC cream, a lot of time you get the added benefit of an SPF. So you're not having to layer on a lot of different products. This is something I've actually been meaning to do for quite some time, but I finally narrowed it down to my favorites and I've been wearing different ones a lot lately, so I thought the timing was good. So I am just wearing a BB cream today, no foundation, because um, this is kind of just my lighter everyday makeup. It doesn't really translate real well um, on camera, but in person, it's just nice, you know, have a little face makeup on, have some mascara. This is kind of a go-to weekend look for me. And also, I woke up, I think I scratched my eye or irritated my eye somehow yesterday. So one of my eyes is very irritated, so I didn't want to put on a lot of makeup, so I thought this video, perfect timing. So let's start with the one I am wearing. This is the CoverGirl No Lay. This is the CC Cream Tone Rehab. It just say, basically says color plus correction, which is basically what CC stands for is color correction. Now, a CC cream, some of them you'll see with or without sunscreen. This one I don't believe has it. If I am uh, mistaken, I will put it below. I have this in the color 125 Buff Beige. And because it does have the Olay Serum in it, you can see that it's swirled, I got just a little bit of a darker shade because I knew with that white serum, it would make the product look more white than normal. So maybe something to keep in mind with this. Now I know I mentioned this several months back that I said I really like it um, and I was pairing it with another CC cream as well for a little more coverage. Today I only have this on and a little bit of concealer, a little bit of powder. This is really great for those of you that have dry skin and maybe you find a traditional BB or CC cream is just too drying for you. This has a lot of moisture in it because it has that Olay serum in it. I just love the packaging too. It's lightweight, it's plastic, comes with a really nice pump. And what I typically do with this is just pump it out into my fingers, kind of dab them together and then put it all over. That's kind of how I put on every type of product like this, BB cream or CC cream. So this is also convenient because you can get it at the drugstore. I'll list everything below so that you can see prices and so forth, but really like this one a lot. Let's just go ahead and stick with drugstore then. Another one that I really enjoy is the Pons. This is the Luminous Finish BB Plus. So this one says BB cream um, with tone perfecting complex. This does have a broad spectrum SPF 15 sunscreen in it. And again, I love the packaging of this. It's very slim. It's in a squeeze tube, um, travel friendly. This is great for me on days when I just want to put something on. Um, I just need like a little bit of color correction on my skin um, and a little bit of sunscreen. So I have it in the color light which may be a little light for some of you. I think it comes in light or medium. The light is pretty light. I typically wear this one in the winter because again, this one has some added moisture to it. So if you have dry skin, either one of these two would be great. I'll also sw show you swatches on the back of my hand of all these so you can just see like the different colors. Um, but this one is great. Again, like I said, it has a sweet squeeze tube. I apply all these with my fingers. Any of these are great under makeup as well. So a lot of times I'll do that. If I want the protection um, of the sunscreen, but yet I need a little more coverage, I will just layer them. Any of these are great. You just put the BB or CC cream on first and then layer your normal foundation over it. Now some of you, um, if all you're wanting is a light application, you don't need you know a lot of color correcting from a foundation, then these would be great just on their own. Next is the Rachel K CC cream. I've talked about this a ton. This is really great um, using it as a primer. This is the only one that I never wear on its own. To me, it just doesn't have enough color to wear on its own, but I really like it as a primer because 
um, especially in the hot months, it really makes my makeup stay. So this is one of those too, you wouldn't need to necessarily put it all over if you're wearing it as a primer, like maybe just in your T-zone or where you need it. This I always get um, from Lisa Lisa D1 site, but she did just recently inform us that um, Rachel K is changing. They're no longer gonna, gonna have this original neutral, they're gonna have the Renew. I did see it, however, still on the Rachel K site, um, but I'm not sure how long, you know, that's going to be available there, but just to let you know. But really do love this one. Again, like I said, this is great as a primer. Next would be a longtime favorite and probably one of the first actual BB creams, like Asian BB creams I ever tried, but I still do really like it. That is the Misha Perfect Cover. This is a really great one. Um, again, good coverage for this one too. So many of you could get away with just using this as a foundation. Sometimes I also need, you know, a little bit extra concealer and powder but that's just normal for me because I have a lot of discoloration. Love the um, packaging of this as well. Again, it's like a squeeze tube. It has a pump. It does come in a few different colors. You can get this from the Misha website. They do ship to the U.S. I have this one in the color 23 and I think 21 is one that's lighter. Again, really love this one. It's a little bit thicker formula, so better as used like as an actual like foundation. Okay, we're saving the best for last. I've talked about this more recently, but this is the Dr. Jart. This is the Black Label um, Detox Beauty Balm, and it is SPF 25. So I have this little size here. I did just recently buy um, another smaller size because I noticed on the Sephora site, they now come in two different sizes for this one that you can purchase. Um, they have the full one out size and then a smaller. So I bought the smaller size. Really, really love this one. It gives really great coverage. I can wear it alone with just a tiny bit of concealer and it is enough coverage for me on days where, you know, I'm just not wanting a foundation. Dr. Jart has other BB creams um, on the Sephora site that may um, work better for some of you. This one is definitely going to be some pretty full coverage as far as BB creams concerned, and it's a little bit thicker in consistency than some of his others. I did talk about those in a product updates video that I'll link below, but this is definitely my favorite. So, okay, from the top here, this first one, that is the um, CoverGirl and O lay. You can see it's pretty thick. And then this next one is going to be the Pons. You can see it's a little bit lighter. Next is the Rachel K. So you can see it's like the most neutral to me. I feel like I know my hand is a lot lighter than my face, but you can see it really disappears a little more than the others. Next is the Misha. So you can see that is definitely like has a more gray undertone to it, but it's still like a nice thick formula. And then this one right here is gonna be the Dr. Jar. Again, I think that's a really nice tone as well, but definitely has a little more neutral gray undertone. So, okay, those are my favorites. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have used any of these and your thoughts on them. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.